Hey guys, how you doing? It's your girl Kia, and I told you that I would come back and give you some um, ideas and let you guys know the updates on the whole home makeover. Now, uh, we did have, if you remember, our whole living room was green, the same color as the sofa, that seafoam green, and we accented it with um, dark, dark chocolate brown, almost black and black, and then I had an accent of some red to bring some color into the room because I'm not really a color person um, unless I'm doing like juvenile rooms and things like that nature, but I'm coming out, I'm coming out of my, my box a little bit, but I wanted to share with you guys the most easiest cost effective way to change your home. And you've heard it before is paint, 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 paint. Either you can get, um, Walmart has a good brand of paint. I do like their, uh, the Glidian paint. Um, but what I did was there was a school that I'm volunteering at to help paint and things like that. And they're on a budget and I mean, who isn't on a budget, but they're on a budget and they, you, we went to use Olympic paint. Now this is the first time I've ever used Olympic paint and, um, because I love bear paint. I just don't like bear prices, <laughs> but, um, sometimes you do have to invest and you get that nice finish. But to my surprise, when I used the Olympic paint, it came out wonderful and very comparable to me to the bear paint. So what I used was their, um, it's an environmental friendly paint. It has like green leaves on it. No, and it says hardly any odor. This is the first paint that I've ever used that had absolutely no odor to it. And I really liked it. I liked the way that the finish came out. I got eggshell because I don't like that glossy look. I can't stand it. I think that looks kind of cheap. But um, this is, I forget the, uh, the brown. It's like cocoa or chocolate something. Um, but the bottom is the white is called, um, seafoam, seafoam, I think white seafoam. Uh, and so we did that, excuse me. So we painted that all, we did all around here and we're going to continue it into the dining room and into the hallway with the kids and everything like that. Kept my, um, my shelving and everything. But do you see how it makes it look more, it's more empty. I took the books down. We put them in the bookshelves that we have upstairs in the hallway and just made it a little bit more open. I decided to keep my vases down that I had up there. They do look nice, but I could put them upstairs if I wish, um, something like that. I made these um, pillows to sit on a while ago when we had it still green. I love this fabric. It's like a brown iridescent, and it's so hard to find it. I went to uh, Joe Mars in Philly, and they had all the nice iridescent fabric but none in chocolate because I would really like to use that fabric on my smaller chairs that I have in my living room that I'll show you guys later on once we get that done. Now I just posted some pictures up on Facebook of this pillow. I love this fabric. I have waited and waited and waited and waited to use this fabric. I was going to use it in my bedroom um, on my um, my little Asian day bed that I have upstairs that I got to show you guys once we get that bedroom done. But what I did was I did a square tip a uh, pillow so that it will give you that box look. Now I need to get more stuffing so I left it open because what I'm going to do is on the opening, I didn't close her up. On the opening I left it open because what I'm going to do is put Velcro there so that way I can really stuff it the way that I want it. I want it like stuffed with no room left. I want it really puffed out and um, it's like a, I don't know, it looks like it could be a dark chocolate brown almost like a black, but I love this pattern. I have enough to make one more pillow, which I'm going to put on the adjacent side of the fireplace. Um, and this fabric cost me, I think $10. And I only got, uh, I think it came three and a half yards by 60, I believe. So it, it was only enough to make two pillows, which was fine. I just loved that fabric. And um, I thought it was just so nice and elegant. And it really looks nice here um, against that white. Now, what we're going to do with the white is get what they call is like a frame out. So where they actually look like empty frames, no pictures, you know what I mean. But it looks like a frame and it's like a molding that you can put and adhere to the wall. Now, my brother-in-law did that in his bedroom. And theirs is, I think like a lighter brown at the top and then they have the white at the bottom in their bedroom it looks absolutely wonderful but I asked him because I was going to do it and measure it out myself
but he told me that they already had a made up at Lowe's. So I was like, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Because that's something else you got to measure, make sure it's um, correct and everything like that. So this way now I can just get those frames and adhere them to the wall. So that'll probably cost me for the living room about $100 because I need, I count out about nine of them if I space them out equally. So what was funny was my husband said, <laughs> well, we don't have to put them behind the couch because nobody's going to see them. Really? Okay, so <laughs> I just looked at him like, are you serious? So, okay, our couch is seafoam green. I absolutely love this sofa. I got this off of eBay. I shared with you guys. It was $400. My kids flipped around. This cushion is backwards. But seafoam is great. I have to wash it a lot. So, <laughs> because of that, I wanted, when I bought this, I said, okay, I just wanted to make sure it's a good frame. Whenever you buy a, um, a furniture set, whether it's brand new, because now furniture brand new is so cheap, it just, it's like, it just breaks when you sit on it. But this was good. It had a warranty and everything like that, and that's why I bought it. It was $400 for the set, for this and the love seat. And so it's getting dirtier and dirtier and dirty. By me washing it, you know, so you get the little fuzz, and I shave the fuzz off. And so, okay. So what happened, I decided being that the back is this nice, beautiful brown, and we have this cream here. What I did was, um, this is another fabric supply that I found on eBay. It's called Alpine. I don't know. It's a number. It's Alpine. I forget the number, but I'll give it to you guys. But what they did was, um, it has like gold in it. And it's very nice. And it's a nice upholstery fabric. So what I'm going to do is reupholster my sofa and my love seat in this beautiful brown fabric and it's stain resistant which i love because so you know when you have four boys like myself yes this is something you need so when i this came to for 20 yards 20 yards by 54 it came to 70 dollars in total that's what my um shipping included it was 49 dollars it was 40 dollars 49 or 40 dollars for the fabric and shipping was like 20 bucks so yeah it was 70 dollars but it has the nice gold in it it really is a nice fabric it's you know you can bend it it's pretty good and it's pretty thick and like i said it's stain resistant so that'll be good for me i'm praying that this will be enough to cover both the sofa and the love seat if not sometimes they repeat their fabrics and i was going to ask the seller does he happen to have any more of this Maybe um, if I run out, then at least that way I know that I'm safe. So that's where we're doing that. Um, my lamps have finally been ruined by my sons. And I'm so upset because every time we had company, they said, those lamps are so funky. Don't mind the mess because we're painting everything is everywhere. <sighs> and I could fix the other one. I don't know. I don't know. I saw some other nice ones at Walmart, but... They never had these back again. And to find that lampshade is so hard. I can't, I've been trying to find it so I can replace it. And I can't find it. So as you see here, the living room floor is pretty bare. We don't have any rugs or anything like that here. I had a checkered rug. I had to get it clean. So maybe we'll put that here or in the boys' room once we get done doing their room. But this is a full view of what we have so far. So usually I have an ottoman, right? Well, the ottoman that I have... I reupholstered and reupholstered. You got to wash it, reupholstered, wash it. I'm trying to limit down the things that I have to do as far as housewives. So this is a full view real quick. But what I'm going to do, this is why I said you never, and excuse the mess, but this is why I say you never throw out furniture. Store it somewhere if you can. Now, don't mind the mess. Like I said, we got everything going everywhere. This, okay, that fly scared me. This is a really nice table that um, my husband bought me. This was in our yes phase when I would say, honey, I want this. And he said, yes, yes, yes. So <laughs> this is, is solid wood. It's very nice. It's been in the basement. I'm going to wipe her down. But I wanted to show you a before because everybody says, oh, you don't show the before and then we don't see. So this is the knobs. The, the drawers are coming out a little bit because of the way we have it set up. So um, either I want to keep the knob and find the one that's missing or replace them with silver. But what I'm going to do to this lovely piece, because it's wide enough to serve as if I wanted like an ottoman, but what I said is if I put it down straight, um, 
you know, put it down. I can put some nice candles on here and magazine. When we have company over, it's another a table to put food. So I found the legs in the garage, which I was so happy about. But I just wanted to show you guys because when I show you this again, it's not going to look anything. I mean, it's old. Oh, look, it has to be wiped down. It's got spider webs. <laughs> Look at that spider webs all in there and everything like that. But my husband bought that for me um, when we lived in um, one of the homes that we had. And I absolutely loved it. So we're going to put that right here. And it's going to be spray painted that dark black with my favorite Rust-Oleum that I told you guys I absolutely love Rust-Oleum. And put that down here so that way I could put some nice little candles if I want on there on a tray. And, um, you know, when we have parties, we put food there. Not have to worry about it. and it's something I could just wipe off because we eat in the living room. So I got those, made those big pillows so we could sit them down. They can eat and um, at the uh, little table there and things of that nature while we watch movies and stuff like that. But it's easier for me because I could just wipe it off. There's no taking off, washing it. I could just wipe it and go. So I just wanted to show you guys that. I got to show you guys the update of the chair. I haven't really gone anywhere except for that one cushion. <laughs> So I'll tell you guys and show you guys as I go along how to accomplish like um, doing the upholstery uh, and things of that nature because wing back chairs are somewhat harder than a regular chair. And so I just wanted to show you my new technique that I'm thinking about coming up with that the Lord showed you. I was praying about how to cover that thing. So I hope you guys like this. And if you have any questions, inbox me. I'll be more than happy to uh, share some information with you guys. And um, show you some tips how to make a pillow, different things like that nature of that nature. So I will talk to you later.